Right, I've drawn it, drawn and drawn it. Uh, vertical line straight across here. Now, I'll just pre tell you with this I've got to blend about three colours in this sky and this background here. It's got to be misty effect and my reflection. So, I really need to do the whole lot dead fast so it's still damp when I put my stuff in. So, you've got to go fast on this one. So it's like quite easy, a picture, but it's hard because of how fast you've got to do it. So this, you don't have to particularly go fast on this bit, just whacking some moist water in. But once we start painting, you've got to go fast. So nice moist water, plenty around these edges, I think. Any direction really for this, I suppose. It's drying out already, with it looks on it. So I need to get loads on because I've got to go that work that fast. I suppose more at the top because um, that's going to dry out quickest. Right, probably done with that brush now. Right, so now I need a nice bit of yellow. Nice bit of yellow on my brush. Right, come in here and just get about there like that and about there into there like that. Then I want some orange to blend into that. So just blend in with some orange. That's it. Somewhere about like that. And then I can blend this orange out then into more of a red, just right about like that. You know what? I'm going to bend, whack this upside down because that orange has gone into my sky, into my yellow. Sorry, I didn't want it to do that. So I'm going to get that into a bit more of a red across there, across here, and it can be more of a red, and then straight into a cerulean blue. Can't wash my brush you now, it's gone straight into it. That can come right across the top there. And slightly in more on that side. That's it. I'll take that off because it's just crumpling it anyway. Alright, so same this side. Cerulean blue. Slightly more in on this side than to the side. That's it. Oh. There's a tiny bit of Payne's Grey mixed in with that cerulean blue, and then it's mixing in with all these other colours as well. But there we are. That's about that, that's about done. Um, right, I need a sun in here. So, to get the actual sun, hopefully, this will work. I'm going to dab out a circular spot there for my sun. And then one there as well for my reflection of the sun in there. And that will do me. A bit more in that one. So I think that one's okay. So that's my sun. I think I've got a tiny bit of green in my sun that's come off my paper. Might be best with a clean bit of kitchen towel when you do it right now. Coming in now, um, I think I'll pop it back right way again. I've still got to go fast because I need this to stay wet. So I'm coming in now with some cerulean blue and Payne's grey. That's all this is. And there's some else, hilly stuff back here. A tiny touch more water to that. Especially as I come in across here, it gets thinner. Back here, it's sort of quite thick and that's okay. So something like that there and then it comes in here, a tad more water, it gets even thinner as it comes in here. So you can barely see it and then it sort of comes out there a bit or something like that. And then the same, I click same with your reflection. Oh, 
ですねポーハーフラクションプロでナイスナーレンシップコーヒー same again シュリリアンブルーペインズグレイ slightly darker Trees and stuff in here, I think. Comes up higher on this bit. Yeah, let's add these as all. I'm just going by photo it with trees and bushes and things. So, so I come down here. It faded away. I think it was further away at that point. And then it gets bigger again as it comes onto this side. So I'll have another dip there. Just re thicken that up a bit. That's it. All done. Right now. Now what I might do, just to warm it up a bit, the paint's grey, I might just stick a tiny bit of bond tumber in it and that will just warm it up a little bit. A bit of bond tumber in there and all. Right, it looks like there's a big sort of bush thing here. This is getting a bit stronger now, you see. There's some bushes here, I'm putting my reflections in as well. It's down a bit low there and comes up a bit again there. Bushy type things. As it's drying, you see, it's getting a bit more. A bit more colour to it. Just want to add thicker in there just so it stands out a bit from that other bit. I think. <coughs> I wish that were a bit more misty, but I think I might just leave it because it looks okay. Right, um, now then. That's the most difficultest bit of it now, so I think. Shall I try and get a. Where's my big flat brush? I think I'm best drying it first. I'll try and get a bit of a few water lines in. Repin, repin it back, put the clip back on, put it straight again, that's it. Oh, yes, that's better. It's stayed pretty straight anyway. There we are. Right, so in place. Yeah, that can look me nicely. Right, I'll try and get a few water lines in there. So I've got my big flat brush. I've done, dabbed it in water, but took a bit back out with my um, detail. And then I'm just, oh, that's perfect. Look, look at that horizon line just a little horizon line there horizon line water line on me horizon line that's what I meant to, do, to say there so that's that then yeah I'll leave that, that. there's probably one through here as well Seems to come down a bit on this one. It's part of that on that one. Just want to have my brush and then tell them. See, you can keep them quite subtle and they look quite good. So that's pretty subtle, that one, but I do like it. And actually, that's given me a bit of space on there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this brush, this wet brush. I'm just going to take this and just do that. I'll go all the way down so I don't get a soppy mark anywhere. And then I'm going to get this brush and just soften them edges a bit. That'll look better, not it? There we are. That's better, that's just softened the edges a little bit.
there. Might be with that. Right. Uh, no, I'm going to get that dry now. cockled a bit because it's uh, what's it called cartridge paper it's not as good as proper white colour but it's a lot cheaper uh, yeah notice how this is that bluish colour slight blue to it and whereas that's got more brown and blacks in and that's just a thicker colour on that bit there so it makes it cooler a tiny bit warmer even warmer still even though they're all pretty cold dark colours <coughs> It's a good way to do it. Right, um, nah. I just have a think. I'm gonna need nah. It's a big spiky brush, I think. Or a little spiky brush, go in a little one. Right. Uh, in fact, I'll use a combination of two. So now I'm gonna whack some more burnt umber in this. I'll try and get some even slightly warmer colours. You know what? Let's try and go really well. Add a bit of red in. There, look at that. Right in from there, like this. Right in there, that's it. I'll open it up, right? And then I think I'll get some. A bit of this red, a bit of that blue. I'll try and get, see what colour that makes me. Oh, nice. Red and blue, there we are. Wrap in a tiny, toddler a few greens and all just to make it a bit interesting, that's it. I think now nah, let's get me rigger brush and just whack in some some of that. I've just gone Payne's grey for this. Yeah, these can be done in quite a few different directions. Again, you want to be working pretty fast because in a second. This come in, get some of this into there like that to break some bits up. That's it, something like that. That's enough to show a bit of stuff. Um, uh, tell you what, let's cover all this, this side, shall we? So, I want to get some more blue, more black, a tad of that red. Let's come in here lightly. It's a bit of a there's a bit of a bush in there. Like that. Got all them different colours in there. So that's got some blue in, some red in, some Payne's grey in. Yeah, I've got some bont umber in it now, I've just chucked a bit in. And in some bont umber. See it. Got a bit more bont umber in it now. Put a bit more in. Can't bring that right down into there. Look how interesting that is with all them different colours in there. Well, now then, like that. Rigger brush. Actually, into all them same colours because 
I'll mix in with this and then this just sort of there were a lot of these so you can get in and just do a bit of that really actually because there are a lot of these little twigs and stuff and then I'll just put a couple of the stronger ones in just the odd stronger one that you can see a bit more and that'll do that's that now then um, there's some things here. Let's have some big other thingy ones about there like that. But a couple of them sort of things. And then let's have a few more down here coming up like that. Let's have a few in there. These are just sort of disappearing at the bottom of the page there. There, do that. Some more coffee. Now oh, then, uh, dip, dip in there, dip in there. So I've got some reds, some blues, all sorts on here again. Notice a bit more of one colour than the other. Just down another dip. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go over this with some of that effect. Especially on, on these edges there, I think. It's a dry, I've just used basically this is just a drier brush effect. No, I quite like it, so. It's not that blue down there. Yeah, I like that. Just a dry brush effect. I like that better than what I've got. In this side, so I'll whack a bit more in this side. Oh, that's nice. Uh, right, so that's that. Um, try and put a few scratches in because it's drier, you lose out on your scratches because it don't stay wet as long. Or I could re wet it and put some in actually. Might even do that in a bit. Right, so in here I'll have a few of these as well. A couple of these bits. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing now, I'm sort of framing my picture by having all these bits in its framing it. Right, so now, let's have a look in here now. There's a big sort of thing coming in here now. Sort of framing. Framing stuff. There's got some bits that's coming down from above like that and all that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And then I'll get some more twiggy bits in there like that. And there's a good few bits coming right down here. That's it, that's just off another tree. Like that, that's nice. Um, same again. There's blues and oh, I reds on one side, blues on the other. I keep swapping them around like that. See if that works. So these, this is representing all my little twigs. Doofus, my stepbrother, I may as well tell you where he's been up to. He's been um, watching Bruce Lee films. So he's been out on garden, jumping around like a lunatic, thinks he's Bruce Lee. Well, oh. He's only gone and kicked his foot straight through the shed and broke his foot. So we've had to take him down to doctors, have his foot booked up. Doctors said you broke your foot. Doofus asked for a second opinion. Doctor says you're ugly as well. So not only has he broke his foot, he's also ugly. <laughs> We all knew that anyway, Doctor. So, anyway, I re wetted that to get some scratches in. So, he's broke his foot and he's ugly. The bloke knocked at the door. Doofus is on his crutches, so I thought I'll let him answer it. Took him about half hour to get there. <laughs> he says, 
Dad, there's a bloke at door with a bald head. His dad says, tell him no thanks, I've already got one. Oh, 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 oh. I need my bods in, don't I? So. Where shall we have them? Let's have them. It's quite near this sun. Sun's my focal point, so I'll have my bods near the sun. There we are. Peter and Paul out looking for worms. Right, I need an autograph on it. I'll pop it. I'll pop it down. Shall I pop it in there, like that, in there? Boy, doy, a birthday, doy. There we are. Right. If you've enjoyed watching this half as much as I've enjoyed painting in it, then I'll have enjoyed paint painting in it twice as much as you. See the on beach in it.